First of all, I just want to welcome everybody uh, and thank you guys for joining us. Obviously, first and foremost, uh, I hope all your family, your loved ones, and your friends are healthy You know, during this time. It's certainly been a, a challenging time for everyone in, in more ways than one, but uh, we all pray that your, your health is good. Um, you know, with all the challenges going around us, uh, for us here at Marquette and Marquette men's basketball, this week was a, a great week where we got to officially welcome uh, two new guys to our family. And we're very fortunate to have both of them here with us tonight. Uh, I'm gonna introduce them and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the mic over to uh, Jamal Kane and Greg Elliott and they can do the interview process. That's, that's more their, their thing than mine. But uh, I'd love to introduce everybody on this Zoom call to Stevie Mitchell, the pride of Reading, Pennsylvania, and Cam Jones. Uh, the man of Memphis, Tennessee. So at least that's what both of them told me to say. Um, but obviously, you know, we're really excited about both of those guys, both of these guys uh, joining our family. And uh, for us, when we're recruiting, you know, obviously talent is a part of why we want guys to come to Marquette, but that's not the only thing. You know, we also uh, take into account their character and their desire to be educated. And when you're talking about Stevie and Cam, you're talking about two guys who are, who are elite in all three of those areas. Um, first and foremost, they're, they're great young men uh, who come from great families and have been raised the right way. Uh, they're both very smart. And uh, obviously both of them are really talented. I'm going to start with Cam because Cam was the, the leader of this pack, right? Cam was the first one to, to commit to us. And so he got our class started off on, on a great foot. Uh, Cam is actually uh, the only guy in this class who's ever been to Marquette. Uh, he, he came and visited us at team camp. And that's the first time that, uh, you know, we really got a chance over the course of a couple of days to, to get to know him and get to understand uh, initially who he was as a player. And, and, and we were able to follow his progress really throughout his junior year. And he had a phenomenal junior year. And, I, and you know, the couple of words come to mind when I think of Cam as a player. Uh, number one is constant improvement. Uh, he's a guy that uh, has just gotten better and better since we first laid eyes on him. And uh, he's a dynamic scorer. He could really put the ball in the basket. He's great with the ball, very crafty. Um, as the people in Memphis say, he's a magician with the ball. So hopefully he'll bring that magic up uh, to Marquette when he gets here. But uh, really do it all. Uh, can really score, can pass, and plays with a great flair to his game. Um, so Cam's commitment led uh, to another really good guards commitment in, in Stevie Mitchell. Stevie is... Uh, uh, has a great personality and, and amazing leadership traits on the floor. You know, for a young guard, he really has a great presence on the floor and has a command of the game, not only individually, but helps command his entire team and helps orchestrate a game. There's a guy who can really put pressure on the defense with his ability to beat people off the dribble. And like Cam, has an incredible finishing package around the rim. These two guys are imaginative and crafty around the basket and can really put pressure on the defense there. Um, you know, I, I love both these guys because they, they check every box that we want. They check the box of high character, they check the box of willing and able learners, and they check the box of high level impact guys. And so uh, for all you who are out there, and even though I can't see you, uh, for all that, all you guys who support our program at the, at the very highest level uh, and have taken such a great interest, not in only how we play, but the type of guys that we have in our program. And I know you guys have great pride in the young men who currently represent our team wearing the Marquette jersey. I can assure you that both Cam and Stevie 
will make you feel the exact same way. Uh, we could not be more thrilled. We, we think we got the best backcourt in the country on signing day. And they're guys that I think really complement each other. And even though they played together on uh, the underarm, played against one another on the underarm circuit throughout the course of this recruiting process, I think they've gotten even closer. And so not only are we, we gaining really good players, but they're going to be really good friends by the time they step on campus. Uh, Cam help us convince Stevie that uh, uh, even though he's never been able to visit Marquette or Milwaukee, we, we, he, that, we were the place for him. And I think it was, you know, the fact that we told him he could get out of the cold winters in Reading, Pennsylvania, and come to Milwaukee and soak up the sunshine all winter uh, mm -hmm. when he wasn't playing in five serve. So uh, without further ado, um, I'm going to hand it over to Jamal Kane and Greg Elliott. Uh, two other guys that when they were Cam and Stevie's age had a great friendship in addition to being uh, terrific players. And they certainly represented their families and our program incredibly well. And it's good to have Greg back out there healthy and practicing. But I'm going to let these two guys interview uh, Steve and Cammie, uh, Cam and uh, you guys take it over. Appreciate it, Coach. <laughs> Man, I mean, that was a great introduction, you know, from the head honcho. But what I want to know is, is who the better 2K player? Uh, uh, I ain't gonna lie, I'm pretty tough. I ain't gonna lie. You tough? Yeah. But who do you uh, play? Are you more like a randoms type guy or you want to go choose your team? Uh, no, I play, I play with the same dude. We run twos every time we all go. Okay. Okay. Steve? You see, I, I used to play, like, I've still played 2K, but I don't play as much now. But when I was playing, like, I, I feel like I still got it because 2K16, I had, I didn't get off the game. I had 399 <laughs> overalls. So oh. my, my career, my, my players, three of them. So, I mean, I feel like I still got it from that. But, you know. I'm going to be real, bro. 2K21, a different monster. Yeah, that, no three. Going it's worse than 2K16, though. It's worse. Man, you, like you just came into the peak. You can't. But I also heard, you know, from a source, I mean, I, I'm not saying no names, but you're always trying to, uh, you know, take over the show, you know, the Greg and Jamal slash Jamal and Greg show. Like, is this true? Like, yeah, let us know. I heard this too. No. <laughs> you see how? And if y'all think that's what it is, it's not. But I still want to know what y'all think. Man, no, I'm just, I'm just going to go down there. I mean, Coach Wolves tell me, in order for us to win, I got to be on the bench and be a cheerleader. That's what I'm going to do to win. So, respect that. Yeah. I, that's what I like to hear. That was Same the right here. answer. Same here. <laughs> I just want to win, really. That's all I ever want to all I ever want to do when it comes to basketball. I just want to win. So, like Cam said, if I got to cheer the loudest, if I got to <laughs> do, like, high kicks on the bench, that's what I'm going to do, as long as you can win. <laughs> <laughs> you told me you don't have to do no high kicks, though. I can promise you that. <laughs> Flex a little bit. Give me yeah. a couple. You feel me? Not, not no high kicks, though. You solid. So, like, with our team, like, so y'all know what Uno is? Y'all play Uno? Yeah. Like, play every we Friday. big with Uno. That's all we play. Huge. So, I mean, what's y'all what's, what's y'all rules when y'all play Uno? Bro, please don't tell me y'all play that, like, if you got, like, Say if you got all different colors, but they're like sevens, and you put them all down. Oh no, nah, nah. we're not playing like that. Okay, okay. Nah, we're regular, but we stack and draw twos though. We keep it above. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's right. cool. I can, I can do it then. <laughs> I got to draw four, and you got to draw four. You can stack that too. But other I stack draw fours. I don't stack draw fours. You don't stack draw fours. I don't stack draw fours. Nah, we stack <laughs> and draw fours. Let me keep that, it real. To me, that's that's what make the game fun. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like a guy throw out a draw four, he think he good, but everybody else got a draw four, so <laughs> got a draw. Yeah, funny. I like it. So y'all, y'all can hang with us with the Uno then. Well, I Cam, uh, you know, we stacking though. It's, it's gonna yeah. keep moving. Ooh. It's gonna be fun. I ain't gonna lie. It be sometimes your friendship be on the line. Friendships be on the line with this Uno. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'd be super competitive, I'm gonna be honest. Man, last time I played Uno, well, the high school team, well, my school play uh, Uno, uh, it got turned into a sermon. <laughs> we ain't played Uno like since. I play Uno every single Friday. <laughs> every Friday. Or every Friday. But you, I feel like yo, yo Uno, not, you're not ready to come step in our ring and play Uno, though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Listen, I, I, play, I play I play, Uno, so there's like a special needs class. I, I internship in there, so I go in and help them. And we play Uno every Friday. It gets competitive. Mm. It starts <laughs> on the <laughs> I'm on a losing <laughs> streak right now. So I'm, a, I'm looking to bounce back tomorrow, but it gets competitive. So get competitive. I feel like I feel like I'm ready. First game of Uno. Ready. So I have a question from one of the panelists. In a game of two on two, who oh. wins? Greg and Jamal <laughs> or the next generation, Cam and Stevie? Mm. You know, I'm. You know who who, who I'm. I'm going with me, me and my guy G. You know, we always had that uh, the um connection since what? That spark. <laughs> Great man, yeah, we've been high, having a long time playing with each other, <laughs> but I, at, at the same time, I don't know, I don't know, but hey, I love to see it. I know <laughs> I'm gonna get on the floor for the loose ball, so you know, it's two on oh. two. So I okay. feel like I, would, I feel like me and, me and Cam stand, I feel like we're gonna hold our own. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, I like it. So, what you more like. You trying to get up some trade balls? Where you trying to drive? You trying to dump me? Um, I feel like we could spread it out a little bit. You oh. know, Cam, Cam is hey. shooter. He gets the oh. basket, crafty. So I feel like we we spread it out. Get some uh, driving kicks. You, we drive. You know, help maybe a layup here and there. So I don't know, but I think I think we we stand a chance. We stand a chance. So mm -hmm. since you guys have been able to see Greg and Jamal play on TV. And they they haven't had the the same luxury as as you guys have in the scouting report of this vaunted two on two match. How about Cam? Why don't you describe give give me a scouting report on Cam Jones? Uh, I, mean, I would say, I mean, mainly I just I just want to win. I mean, if I gotta score fifty or. Get 50 assists, 50 steals, 50 rebounds, whatever it is, I'm just gonna try to win. Man, I'm not saying I'm gonna score 50, but I'm gonna try to. But <laughs> so you may on. not score 50, but you may get 50 assists and 50 steals. We'll we'll, we, we'll be all, all right, right with that. <laughs> As a player, I feel like I mean I can I, mean, I can pass. So I mean I can score, get my teammates involved. I feel like just like with my high school team and just me having to take on a leadership role. Uh, just did nothing but uh, make me a better player, and I man, no, I feel like like I'm I'm not the most athletic player in the world. Like I'm not just jumping out the gym, and I feel like what gets me around that hump is probably my IQ for the game, and how I can just be a step ahead. Good, good scouting report. Now, usually in thorough scouting report reports, they do like a player comp. Who would you in college or pro? Is there somebody you model your game after? Uh, I can give you three players. I can give you one specifically. Well, three is it'll be Steph, Trey Young, and Luca. Okay. Those are three good ones. That's, yeah. a, that's a pretty good bag with those three. How about you, Stevie? What's it, what's what's the scouting report? It's only fair to Greg and Jamal that they have somewhat of a scouting report. So give yeah. me the scouting report on Stevie Mitchell. Um. I feel like my whole life, really, I've been always been able to get to the basket. Uh, that's been my strongest thing. But right now, I'm starting to shoot the ball a little better, so that's able to just help the help me bring the defender out some more and just shoot the ball if I'm open. If not, I'm gonna get to the basket. If someone helps, I'm gonna pass it. So just always looking to make the right play. And then on the defensive end, just giving it my uh, my all my effort, 100% every time. Uh, I hate getting scored on that. Like, I hate getting scored on. So whatever it takes, I'm going to just lock in on defense and offense. And like Cam said, just try to get the win. Awesome. Yeah. Now, do, you, do you have a player comp or do you have somebody that you look to? 
in college uh, or the pros that you really admire? My favorite player has always been LeBron, but I'm, I'm not LeBron, obviously. Like, I'm not as athletic as LeBron or as tall as LeBron or as big as LeBron. But uh, as I, I started getting older, I started, like, really starting to appreciate guards more since that's a position I play. So, like, Cam was saying Curry. I like Dame Lillard a lot. Uh, Jamal Murray. Uh, CJ McCollum with uh, Dame Lillard. So, as I like right now, I'm really starting to appreciate guards and really appreciate watching them play. Good, good. Well, I got a question from the group for uh, for you guys. And the, you guys talked about uh, through the player comps, the players you look up to. Who are your role models just in general? Like, who would you guys say are your role models? Not necessarily having to be basketball players, but people that you look to in your life that you uh, try to emulate. Uh, my understanding answer would probably be my dad and just seeing the type of man he raised me to be and just always looking, I've been looking up to him like my whole life pretty much, so. That's great. How about you, Stevie? Uh, I would say my parents really, cause they've always been there for me and my brother too, uh, just really family in general, just always been there for me through the good stuff, through the bad stuff, so. Uh, I just, I want to be the same in the future for my family, for my kids, just always being there and uh, just be always being the best person I can be, uh, even through the hard days, the rough days, just always trying to be the best, best version of myself. So I really look up to my family. That's great. So Stevie, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, you, you haven't had a chance to visit Marquette yet. So what led you to choosing Marquette uh, over the other schools uh, that you um, were considering? I feel like the relationship I was able to build uh, with you and uh, Coach Killings and the rest of the coaching staff really played a part in it because it's just like being able to go somewhere where I know uh, they're really pushing a family environment and really uh, going to have my back like through the bad days, the good days, just like my family does. Uh, just trying to simulate that as best as I could. And I feel like the relationship we built really helped build that. And obviously getting to know Cam a lot, I feel like uh, I, I really enjoyed talking to Cam. I even I enjoy talking even more now since we started talking more. Uh, funny conversations, he always makes me laugh. So <laughs> just the relationship I was able to build with you guys, the coach staff and Cam. And just, uh, I really like just, the Marquette, it seems like somewhere I can go uh, and just work and just be focused on far, far away from home, further from home, and just be able to focus and uh, work on and off the court. And like I said, uh, just try to achieve to be the, or strive to be the best person I can be on the court and off the court. That's good. So Cam, it's funny to hear Stevie say how funny you are because when we first got to know you, I kept telling Coach Killings and the rest of the staff that you were one of the most shy kids I've ever met. And I couldn't have been more wrong. You know, since then, like you're like the talk of the town, social media warrior, fan favorite already. Uh, you know, you've already ingratiated yourself to, to our fan base. Um, so, so why Marquette for you? Um. <clears throat> And Cam, don't worry. Greg was like that too. Greg is was the worst <laughs> recruit to talk to on the phone in the history of college basketball. I just don't like. On the I could have. I I would have preferred at times talking to a shoe, and I probably would have had more. The shoe would have had more to say. But he'd come out of his shell as well. So uh, talking on the phone just wasn't my thing. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, uh, they like kind of what Steve said, uh, building relationship with the coaches, and just knowing I'm gonna go somewhere where I'm I'm gonna be pushed and uh, and just know that y'all have my back as a as a team and as a coaching staff and just to um, be able to go out there and work hard. And then when I went to uh, when I uh, went to campus, I enjoyed it. Uh, it was a great campus. I loved it, every second of being there. I mean. Uh, it was like it was in a, at the beginning of June, and it was like thirty five degrees. But other than that, every, everything was fine. That's good. That's good. <laughs> so, 
So, G and Jamal, I'm not letting you guys get off the hook. We've been talking about great pairs. Uh, so I have, I have a question from the group for you. You got to choose one pair. Okay. Lions, Pistons. Lions, Pistons, or coach. Bucks, you can stop right there. Packers. You can stop, right there. You can stop Lions, there. Lions, Pistons. I'm never switching up. Yeah, you can't switch up on your team. Jamal, what team does the Lions? What 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 team is the Lions? What what league are they a member of? The Lions, NFL. Yes. Okay, just checking. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 look. I probably don't watch as much football, but I know what's going on. Okay, I didn't know if they got the news out there in Pontiac about Detroit's teams. So. All I know about Detroit is my fantasy football team. I have Dalvin Cook. He did him dirty last week. Hey, 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 hey. See? See? hey. Yeah, he's done. He did the Packers dirty too. So yeah, he, there's he, a, he, there's a, there's a lot. He, of he, he did do the Packers. <laughs> that was messed up. So, so what? What number? What number? Have you guys thought about numbers? Um, I've always worn number three, but obviously that's gonna be out out the door. So right, right. Um, I haven't really put much thought into it, but I feel like whatever number I get, I'm just going to try to represent it as best as possible. You so. saying that now, bro, but your number matter. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> it matters. It matters. What number do you recommend? I don't know what number available, so I can't recommend one yeah. yet. <laughs> but come say, when it's time, I got, got you. It. Don't need to worry about it. Got it. Stevie, if you keep saying stuff like you hate being scored on, you may have the pick of the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I, I don't know if Greg and J Jamal have ever heard that before. So, how about you, Cam? Uh, I mean, I've been wearing number three for the past few years too, but I mean, it, don't, it really don't matter. <laughs> number All right, so we'll, we'll the the number thing will be we'll figure it out at a later date. Have you guys seen our new uniforms? Yes, sir. All right, what color? What color do you like the best? I like uh, the yellow ones. Gold. Yeah. I, I was I, I was thinking go, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got two goals, <clears throat> two goals. How about you, Jamal and Greg? Oh, I'm going black. Ooh, yeah, I'm yeah back black probably. Yeah, I got the black, black. ones. Yeah, we got black. Oh, yeah. yeah, I bet them tough. No, nah, black tough. Yeah. Black yeah. definitely the best one. Yeah, I like the blue ones though. Which blue? No, which, Navy the powder blue. Powder blue. Championship, championship blue, blue camp championship blue championship. no those those are we don't young. talk about powder blue here um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my fault. laughs> um all right so greg jamal i got a i got another request from the group what's your best coach wojo impress impersonation <laughs> Nation, oh, probably good. Probably good. What you got? Okay, that's smart, Jamal. So give me the Judd impersonation. Uh, hold on. Let me think. Let me think. Uh, you gotta be fast. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> what you got? Come on, Jay. I need three rebounds, Jay. You gotta have your pistols up. Pistols. You gotta, have, <laughs> you gotta be ultra fast. Ultra fast. So, who, you don't have to name names, but what coach gets the most imp, uh, most impersonations at the at the hotel? Oh, that's a good question. I'm be honest. That's a great question. Ah, the like, most. Ah, I I think it might be Coach Judd. Coach Judd. Coach, uh, yeah, Coach Judd up there. Was you 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 up? There. I'm not gonna lie to you. You up there. Yeah, yeah, coach, coach up there too. Well, if I'm not winning, it gives me something to shoot for. I'm gonna have to say <laughs> more memorable stuff to you guys, <laughs> maybe louder. So, well, listen, guys. You know, uh, you know. First of all, I just you know want to thank you guys for for taking the time. And again, uh, Stevie, Cam, you guys are joining a a great group of guys, and Jamal and, and Greg are. Certainly two examples of that, but everybody in Marquette Nation, uh, Marquette community, all our fans, but especially the people who are closest to our basketball program. 